What's your name? How you doing? My name is Willie Wood, and I'm doing all right. Where you from? I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. Murderworth, Funky Town, you know. What, what, what side of Fort Worth, Texas you from? See, really, really right here on the side. You know. the side. But we've been all over, my you family. Look, you look young. What's your age? Man, I'm finna be 39. I'm finna be 40 years old. I'm 39 years old right now. 40? Yeah, February 1st, next month. Next month? Yeah, I'm born in 1982. February 1st, 1982. So, so is it just you, or you got you got people here, or like, like what's going on? Tell me a little bit about you, bro. You know what I'm saying? How man, you doing, man? man, I'm living all right, man. Just, you know, I, I got family here. My mama, she probably staying taller still. I mean, I, don't, I ain't talked to hold nobody. On, hold on, hold on. You say you, you 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 got a mama. You say she she probably living in Tyler. So which means what you ain't you ain't heard from her? Nah, or, nah, or nah. I ain't talked to her in about four or five years. Four or five years. That, that's kind of tough. Now you know what I'm saying. But we go we gonna get back into that though. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about you though. Man, look, man, really, really, I'm just normal normal guy, man. You know, I'm, How I'm laid back, man. You know what I'm saying. I'm humble. It's sometimes, you know okay, mean? I understand that part. I understand that part. Tell me more about your life situation, though. Like, what got you to the situation that you're in now, bro? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, talking about for drugs, drugs, drugs being alcohol, you know cigarettes. Yeah, that type of thing. Like, what? what well, first of all, I never did. I never did want to be hooked on drugs. I, mean, I, I was a part of the Dare program in school, <laughs> and uh, you know the D A R E program. And uh, we used to sing this song and say, Dad, keep out drugs. I used to hate drugs. And I used to find out how much bacteria and how many uh, uh, chemicals and poison they got in tobacco, cigarettes. I never wanted to smoke a cigarette. My mom would smoke new poison all the time. So one day I ended up sneaking and smoking one on the cool room. That's how I ended up smoking the cigarettes. Watching my mom do smoking. I was like, man, they getting high off them things or what? Why she smoking back to back like that? What, what do they do? So I wanted to find out yeah. what a Newport was like. And I went on a Newport. <laughs> I mean, y'all understand what I'm saying? I went on a Newport. I went on a cruise. I, I was like dizzy, you know what I'm saying? Like seasick, you know what I mean? You know, we go on a cruise, Caribbean, some, some people, they get seasick. Hey, what, 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 yeah, I, I see you explaining a lot about your mother and stuff. What, what about your father, you know what I'm saying? Man, I ain't talked to that, I ain't talked to that man in about, phew, about seven years. Seven you know. years. Yeah, me and him, we all right, you know what I'm saying? Y'all all right. Yeah, but we just, you know. How you, how you fall off with the, with the, with the family like that, man? You know that I, I, I didn't fall off, they fell off. Okay, well, but, I, but I, the I, thing of it is that they, they don't, okay. And see me, I got habits, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And, and, what and, drove you to your habits? There we go. Now we getting there. What like, you mean? What, what, what made you want to do what you doing that got y'all the way y'all are? Basically. I mean, y'all, I mean, y'all for us, like, I'm not just, I'm just one person, one individual. But it's other people out here that, that's, you know what I'm saying, addicted so to the same. basically, you, no, we're not talking about nobody. We're going to stay on you. We're going to stay all the way on you. So basically, like. Well, I basically ain't no y'all, but yeah, the, what got me hooked was wanting to know, you know what I'm saying, like Curious George, nigga. I was just curious, you know what I'm saying. Uh, 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 like motherfucking Bill Nye the Science Guy, I wanted to experiment with shit. Now, what around what age did you, did you start experimenting with? What? See, but we never, man, look. It wasn't me that wanted to. It, it, it was my parents, okay, okay, giving us, you know, you know, we was a baby man. Well, you know, us black people, we know. And, and you so you so quiet, but you you so curious. You want to know everything. So, you know, my granny house where we lived there was pretty much like a gambling shack. That's where everybody came to gamble, play cards, and you know what I'm saying. They drank and and and, and, and smoke on all types of cigarettes, weed. And What's whatever, choice? everything, except for uh, heroin, beer, everything that's that's you know what I'm saying that's pretty much normal to me, which is beer, uh, marijuana because it's coming from the earth, and cocaine because it's a plant too. I mean, it's just a little baking soda on it. It make it hard. I'm trying to crack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just it's not, you know. So when was the first day you actually had crack cocaine? Well. I tell you about, I was 24, I, don't, I can't remember what year it was, I think it was like 2000, uh, 2000 maybe, uh, shit, one, some shit like that, 2002. 
How did that? I met some white girl in West Virginia, you know. You know, I was selling dope, you know what I mean, doing whatever, whatever, trying to make some ends and shit. And uh, ended up getting hooked on my own products. <laughs> they say don't get how I was plot, but yeah, anyway, that's another story. <laughs> so, one day I was just curious about, you know, smoking with Primo, but the nigga I was fucking with, he ain't had no powder, he just had hard, and I snort powder, so, you know what I'm saying, whenever I get the powder, you know what I'm saying, I, I cook up what I'm gonna cook up, and, and whatever's left over, I, I use it for my snort habit, you know what I'm saying, or Roman's Primo's, you know, and, uh, yeah. She, uh, so where you live at? Where you sleep at? Shit, wherever. Uh, I, I stayed, uh, uh, we were supposed to be staying with a cousin of mine, but, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, I don't, I guess I don't uh, abide by rules or whatnot, so I'm pretty much like in and out, you know what I'm saying, one foot in, one foot out, but I stay everywhere. I mean, this, the streets is my home, you know what I'm saying? I don't even go to sleep sometimes because I feel like I'm gonna miss something on the street. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just ADHD, MH and Mob. I don't fucking know. But what I do know is this that when you're a street nigga, you know what I'm saying, it shows in, in your swag, it shows in your attitude, it shows in your person as a human being. But I ain't never wanna be like this. I always wanted to be like uh, the person that help everybody. You know what I'm saying? I, not like a paramedic, but you know, a paramedic or a nurse, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Somebody who I, I like. I'm very inventive. You know what I'm saying? I like inventing stuff. I like building stuff. I like making stuff. I like taking stuff and, and making it, it work. If it's broke, they say you can't, don't fix it. But see, if it's broke, I want to fix it. Cause I want to see how what type of skills I got as far as like technical wise. You know what I'm saying? Cause I used to be in tech lab when I was in school, and that, uh, you know. But uh, yeah, man, I'm just a normal laid back person, man. But the south side right here, uh, the south east side, what now, whatever, who land, uh, uh, you know, this is where I, you know what I'm saying, mostly grew up at, you know what I'm saying. Eastwood, we stayed in Eastwood a little while. North side, I mean, I'm talking about, man, we've been everywhere, okay. Stop Six Projects, Downtown Projects, Butler Alza Projects, you know what I'm saying, I'm talking about. Did you graduate high school? Nah, I didn't graduate. And you know what? When I was young, they used to like, give us this shit in our baby bottle and that night train, Thunderbird and shit, right? That's what I was trying to tell you about earlier about how I got hooked. I don't know how I got hooked because all I know is what they were giving us was to sedate us, to put us to sleep, to keep us from being so goddamn nosy. They talking about what y'all doing? Shooting the dice. Get on up here and shoot the dice, boy. Shoot the dice and then. They get tired of me and they say, come on, now get some of this old wine because I'm reaching for it. You know how your baby, you see them drinking, and they say, boy, you can't have none of this, you know. But uh, with us, it was different. It was like, we reached for it and they say, boy, you can't have none of this. Here, go on, get, give, me, give, me, give me your baby bottle. Don't let your mama see you. You know, I added my baby bottle and I opened it up and poured that shit in there and then I drank that shit in this thing. You know, I'm waking up on the floor. No diaper on. I don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm a baby, I'm a kid, so I'm like, shit, I'm probably like three or four years old, you know what I mean? I'm shooting dice at three or four, I'm drinking night train. Then they put it in my brother in the baby bottle, well, they was babies, you know what I'm saying? And so just imagine me being four or five years old, drinking night train in a, in a baby bottle. And then they giving it to my brother and them because he won't stop crying. One of them is a baby, baby, infant. And the other one is, is right up under me. But we all stress that we all right, right up under each other, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's 37, 38, 39, 39, 40, 41, you know what I'm saying? That's how we, our ages. Anyway, man, we've been through a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's where, that's where I think alcoholism come from. Plus it was already in my bloodstream due to the fact that my mom and daddy was already alcoholics before they uh, conceived me. You know what I mean? So when you're a child and 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 you're inside of your mother's uh, womb, you know what I mean? And she's doing all these drugs and things, and your dad, you know what I'm saying, use his sperm, his sperm is tainted. You know what I'm saying? It's tainted with drugs, you know? So some kids come out fucked up. 
And some of us come back fucked up normally, but some of us don't come back, you know what I'm saying? Some of us, we just, we just, you know what I'm saying? We just like, fuck it. But that ain't where I'm at. I don't, I don't really want my, I could, man, I, I, I feel like, I feel like I need the numbness. I need to be numb to the, to the, to the, the fact that, you know, my family don't want to fuck with me because I do dope. So what? I'm still a fuck, I mean, I'm still a normal nigga, man. My mind might be altered, but I can still function on a normal human being type level and still talk and still have a normal conversation with people without, you know, uh, me uh, going into a, a spaz and spaz now and all that, you know. I only do that when motherfuckers fuck, they fucking with me, but other than that, I'm just, I'm a cool laid back dude, man. I mind my business, I stay myself. I don't bother nobody, the motherfucker bothers me. Uh, other than that, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't What's the craziest thing you've seen being on the streets? The craziest thing, me pick up a motherfucking possum up by his tail and throw him in the sewer. <laughs> no, that was crazy because everybody died me do. But you should have seen when I snuck his ass. He went right in the sewer drain. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> but now, uh, really don't crazy, really the really, really crazy thing, bro, is just seeing a nigga get shot for him. And in broad daylight in Berry Hill, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck me up, you know what I'm saying? Like, first time I ever seen some shit like that, and I just, I, I, it fucked me up, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and then seeing people get shot, and shot at, then being shot at, and not being shot, you know what I'm saying? That comes, uh, uh, but I wasn't no bad at it like that. I just, I just did cars and shit. I, I was a thief. <laughs> that why they came and got me, you know what I'm saying? I, I was a gangster thief, you know what I'm talking about? Fuck it. But anyway, uh, they turned me into a motherfucking menace when niggas try to punk me and try to treat me like I'm a hoe because I let niggas get away with that shit, playing and shit. I don't really like to play because when I get playing and then you ask them to throw one of them motherfuckers out there that they don't, and then you hit a motherfucker and then they won't fight for real. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like to play. That's why I say I don't, I don't do none of that. Uh, uh, what they call that shit? Uh, fucking a uh, 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 play boxer and shit no more. None of that shit. Cause nigga nowadays, all they want to do is they want to shoot you. When you get to busting his little body up and shit, you get to hit him all up in the ribs and shit. Cause, and then they gonna want to fight for real. Let's do a normal day of Willie. What do Willie do on a normal day to day basis? Like shit, hustle. Money, I hustle. Or? They call it panhandling, but I call it poor man hustle. You know what I'm saying? It's not panhandling. What What is panhandling? I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck that word is supposed to mean. You know, panhandling, panhandling, whatever the fuck. I ever have pancake. Fuck me. Fuck a panhandling. Like your man, I get up every day, man. I got money on my mind. I got I got work on my mind. You know what I'm saying? To make money. I, I, I got I got issues and shit that I go through when I wake up like, Damn, man, how the fuck I'm gonna make it through the day, man? How I'm gonna, how I'm gonna become a millionaire today? You know what I'm saying? I just be sometimes you want to just, just, you know what I'm saying? Because what the heck I know, I ain't a dummy. But the motherfucker tell me I don't like to work. I love to work. I love to work, but you ain't gonna work me and then wanna pay me crumb money because you feel like, because I smoke dope, that I can just t accept anything. And my motherfucker hard working. Uh, uh, muscles and using my strength and my motherfucker, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? My work ethic just to help you and, and, and man, and then you want to pay me crown money? Because I ain't missing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, basically, yo, yo, every, like, what you do, I understand you say you have money on your mind as soon as you wake up. Every day. What do you do to get the money? Man, conversation, I'm a conversationist. I, I, and that's just how I am. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I can talk to anybody out of anything. I'm just saying, I, I'm just saying, you know, slick to slick, smooth to smooth. But I'm not that dude. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just a normal ass nigga. I'll come to you and I'm going to tell you the truth about me. That's what people like. That's what gets me where I, where I want to come. I'm straight blunt. I, I tell you, man, I, I want a beer, man. Man, I'm trying to get some dope, man. And, and, and give me a mother. I'm trying to give me a hit and give me a, a beer up out of here. If you help me out, <laughs> five dollars they go get shit. We buy seven dollars. You know what I'm saying? Get to Nick. Never gonna change. Did you? Do you ever want to stop? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, and I'm not really thinking. I'm, I'm pretty much waiting till my, after the, my birthday, 
first, and then I'm working getting in rehab. I was probably been doing it this year. I mean, this month, uh, New Year's. But I changed my mind because I was like, man, fuck that. I want to drink my birthday. I probably want to drink on my birthday. But if we go to rehab, I can't drink. I can't do none of this shit. I gotta, you know, do this program, 28 day program, and get my motherfucking shit together. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, uh, man. I just pray that my life just get better, man, because, you know, this shit right here is for the birds. You know, I've been doing this shit for, like, 20 years, you know what I'm saying? Out of the 40 years I've been alive, this shit suck. But I enjoy the high because of the numbness, man. The fucking numbness, that's all I did. The numbs, the pain that I'm feeling inside. It takes my mind off of everything but money. <laughs> it's the only thing up in my motherfucking mind is money. And working to get the money. If, me be, yeah, I'm just conversation, man. As I got there and I tell people my story about who I am, why I'm asking them. And some people don't want to hear no story, but I still tell them anyway because I want them to know this is the truth. This is something that's real. This ain't some fake ass motherfucker bum ass nigga standing up here at the store talking about I want something to eat. Then go buy a motherfucking bottle of wine <laughs> or a beer. Nah, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you straight up. If I'm hungry, if I'm if I'm if I'm uh, uh, fiend, <laughs> if I'm motherfucking be thirsty, shit, yeah. But day day lifestyle, my man, is just you know figured out a way to establish a better foundation for myself and to do better by myself. You know what I'm saying? And by other people, you know. Cause I ain't seen, I got kids I ain't seen 17 years. I got two kids I ain't seen 17 years. So I got a lot of stuff, bro, on my mind, man. I've I, uh, I been through a lot of shit. Bro. So you, you got kids? Yeah, I have two children. I have a son named Japonte and a daughter named Shantae. They posted in West Virginia with their mother. Um, um, I don't know. I, I've been looking on Facebook. And, um, all the old find, uh, find so dot com. If you talk to your kids today, what would you say to them? Basically, I would just tell them that, uh, you know, I never meant to hurt them, you know what I'm saying, by not being in their life. But it didn't have nothing to do with the drugs by me being away from them. It had something to do with the communication problem between me and their mother, which she never really tried to communicate with me. So therefore, how the, how the hell am I gonna try to find y'all if I don't know where the fuck you at? She done that to me. I didn't do nothing to them. It wasn't my choice to stay gone and leave. Was, I was trying to come down here so they could see the black side of their family. Because they always seen the white side of her family. And she got a daddy, and he black, but shit, he, he live in Ohio. You know what I'm saying? And she, she don't, they don't even go to see him. It's just her mama's side of the family. All these fucking white people. No offense. Uh, Have you ever been outside of Texas? Hey, yeah, I've been to Tennessee. I've been to Illinois. I've been to Syracuse, New York. I've been, man, I've been, I've been all around this motherfucker. I used to work for Washington Inventory Services. And we go do inventories for Walmarts and Sam Clubs and shit. You know what I'm saying? So we go out of town and, and out of states and do inventories and shit for Walmarts. You know what I'm saying? Help them out and shit, you know what I mean? So, yeah, pretty much. I ain't say the only place I've been. I, uh, I don't know, man. I've been, I've been a lot of places. I've been to Virginia. I've been to Maryland. You know what I'm saying? I've been to Blackwater Falls with Maryland and, 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 and uh, 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 Virginia separates. It's, it's like a rock, some kind of rock. And then, like, a bridge that you cross. A bunch of trees, shit, then it opens up and it's like a whole bunch of water and shit. It's like fucking, you on top of a fucking uh, a mountain. But uh, so you sit on. watching right now, bro, what would be your best advice for them? What would you tell them? Don't do drugs. And, and, and stay clean forever if you can. But if you do happen to have habits, just try to maintain your habits on a normal level. You know, me, I like to indulge, and then when I, but I sometimes indulge too much. So basically, you know, just don't overdo it. If whatever it is, I don't care if it's eating, I don't care if it's uh, uh, 
you know, drinking water or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Candy habits, whatever. We all got habits. Just don't overindulge. That's all I can say. You can choose to do what you want to do, but don't do it if you don't want to do it. But if you do happen to do it, just make sure you do it responsibly. Drink responsibly.